everyone, Vian from Mountain Road here and today I've got another video for you. This time a little bit more for the tech junkies out there. If you're anything like me and you really like sports technology and also maybe more of a, a gadget focus, um, you're really going to like this one. Um, so a while ago you might have seen me do a video, um, I'm going to link to it at the top of this video, um, on how to go about setting up um, with a Zwift on a spin bike and so that was all about doing indoor training in a little bit of a different way um, but today I want to go ahead and kind of link to another video I did I'm gonna again you know I'll tag to that one at the top of this video um, about the latest iPad software that came out so you'll see in front of me that I've got my iPad set up and um, for those of you clued in you will know that um, Apple recently launched the iPad OS 13. So it's a specific software dedicated for the iPad that gives it a whole host of new functionality. Um, and in my other video, you'll be able to see that and how I created a really cool desk setup. Today, we're gonna join those two topics, Zwifting as well as iOS 13 or iPad OS 13. And you're gonna see how I'm gonna create a really cool setup and for the first time, I'm going to be able to use a mouse. That's what this whole thing is about. I want to interact with my iPad in a whole new way while Zwifting. Stay tuned, you're going to see how we can incorporate a mouse to make interacting while Zwifting just a little bit simpler. Right, so let me quickly walk you through what I have right now. I've got my bike obviously set up on my smart trainer. I brought it outdoors today. Um, let's get it out of that dark basement for just a, a couple more days while we have the nice sunshine. And so um, decided let's uh, do this all outside. Um, in front of me I've got my iPad. This is going to be running Zwift. And on there I've installed the latest iPad OS 13. So make sure for this video that you've got that installed. Um, if you've got anything, you know, I would say from an iPad released back in 2013, 2014, anything later than that, you'll be fine. This is an iPad that was released back in 2015 and it's doing the job just perfectly. So you don't need the latest iPad to be able to run this setup. In front, I've got a a nice little kinetic round table you can see it allows me to move my front wheel awesome for that new um, Zwift steering feature that was released with FutureWorks so very cool little gadget that I already own and then I could just now use it since the release and then at the back I've got my trusty old Tax Neo um, really cool indoor smart trainer that has been doing a great job and then the big thing with today's video is now obviously the inclusion of a mouse. So I've got a regular Bluetooth mouse here and we're going to be able to now use that with the new software and uh, interact with Zwift. Right, I'm going to quickly cut away from this. I'm going to show you a couple of steps how you can first go through the settings and setting up your mouse. It's not as straightforward, it's not a standard feature. You've got to go into the accessibility settings and from there I'll walk you through on how you can actually get the mouse connected and have that work. Once you've watched that, come back and you can see how it actually works then in practice when you're actually on the bike and Zwifting. Good, so let me walk you through on how to actually go about setting up your mouse to work with the iPad. All right, first of all, you can dig into the settings a little bit. It's not a straightforward standard feature. You're going to go into accessibility, then into touch, and then into assistive touch. First, you want to switch on assistive touch. And what you'll find is this little menu dot pick, um, sort of popping up on the screen. Now, that's a standard assistive touch showing up there. What you want to do from there is scroll down, find devices, then search your Bluetooth devices. Now, I'm going to switch on my mouse here so that, that will be picked up. There's my Bluetooth mouse already being connected. And then what I can do as a further step is click onto into that and you will be able to now also customize mouse buttons. So I'm not going to go into this. I'll let you play around. You can set each of the three buttons or how many ever buttons you have on your device to do specific features. For the purpose of Zwift, we need one of them to be a single tap so that you can click around on the screen as if you were just tapping around on the screen. If you want to get more custom 
customize on this if I go back to the setting um, you can obviously change pointer style so by that I can change the pointer make it bigger and smaller on the screen um, if that is something you wish to do and then also you can change the color and a neat little feature that I like to turn on is this auto hide it means after a few seconds of inactivity of not using the mouse that will disappear off the screen and no longer be visible the one thing that you do want to set on as well or off in this case is that big accessibility menu setting that sort of floats around there can get a little annoying if you go down to always show the menu and you tick that off that will no longer then be displayed whenever you use the mouse um, and that's it now you've got a fully functioning mouse that you can use on Zwift um, while you're working out. Alright, so before we actually go about and start running Zwift on the iPad, you might just have the question, but why? I mean, if I have the iPad set up like I currently do right in front of me on a stand, I could just reach over and tap on the screen and interact with it that way. So why would I want to bring in a mouse and then navigate using the mouse instead of just reaching over? I'll give you two reasons. The first reason is just when you're working out on Zwift, you should know by now you are just normally drenched in sweat. That includes sweaty hands. And you know, for me, this iPad is a device that I use on a regular basis. I take this thing into meetings at work. Um, I take it wherever I go. Um, to be honest, I want to protect this device. And for me, just reaching over with sweaty hands, all drenched in sweat, dripping down a device that I kind of want to protect, it's just not worth it. Um, so by not having to reach over and touch the screen and mess up the nice you know clean wiped down screen that i've got in front of me right now um i can now just use the mouse and no longer have to actually touch the screen during the workout so that's reason number one the second reason actually comes down to this new feature that Zwift included with the steering and that's why i wanted to bring in my steering block today and you can see as i'm moving the wheel around and especially also for me with the the tri bars on this bike there's not a whole lot of space in front of you. So if you're used to having a desk or a table in front of you that kind of gets in the way of your wheel or maybe covers your wheel, that might mean that your device is further away. And you know, this means that you're going to have to stretch or reach over to touch the screen. Again, this is just another way in which interacting with a mouse can make it a little simpler. I'm going to show you other cool few tips just while you're on the screen. Um, and actually writing how, again, the mouse can be very helpful in just navigating and bringing up other apps um, while you're working out. So those are the two reasons why I think you would want to do something like this. Alright, so here we are in Zwift and now you can see as I start moving around on the game, um, you can see that I now have the ability to just easily interact with the iPad using the mouse. I can um, quickly just um, tap around on the screen and I can uh, change the camera angles as much as I like. I can do a quick U-turn if that's what I want to do. Um, again, you know, easily navigating through all the menu settings, something that you would normally do um, by tapping on the screen, I can now very easily do just by, um, you know, interacting with it on the um, with via the mouse and so just another quick and easy way I can even change routes if I want to so anything that you could do with your finger on the iPad you can now essentially do with the mouse as well um, and then um, another cool addition to using the mouse on the screen is to incorporate it with some of the iPad's other multitasking features so if you are familiar with the slide overview in on the iPad um, you will now be able to also bring an app. So here you can see I have um, my Spotify playlist listed here on the side in a slide overview. I can easily move it out of the way and bring it back if I want to and control my music then that way while doing my, my workout. So really cool, another new, um, just an extra step that you can bring into your Zwifting experience. Just another way in which is interacting with the iPad and Zwift using the mouse it makes it so much cooler. Just uh, you don't have to be reaching over, you don't have to be dripping sweat all over the iPad. Just a little easier, just a little simpler. Making indoor training just a little bit more fun. And there you have it. Just a nice quick and easy video today to show you how you can use the mouse on Zwift using the new iPad OS 13. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you like it, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up, and uh, be sure to follow along on our next adventures here at Mountain Road, where we want to encourage you to live a sustainable, healthy, and thriving lifestyle. Till next time.